I'm dreaming about a How Do You Make It Right TV series. How do you make it right, OB? How do you make it right? Hi, this is Rhonda Leroy with the How Do You Make It Right TV series here with OB. OB, how do you make it right? Uh, how do I make it right? My name is OB in Defo, and uh, I'm a dramatic artist. Uh, that means I work on uh, different areas of expression through theater, uh, film, television, dance. Um, I teach as an instructor, as an arts educator, and I create content. Um, and how do I make it right? It's a fantastic question. Um, it depends on what day you ask me <laughs> how I make it right. Um, how do I try to make it right? I mean, for, you know, the, the best answer to that right now is just to try to keep happy with the person, you know. I feel that if I can keep, um, you know, centered and grounded and just content with my life and the cards that I was dealt, um, everything can kind of flow from there. So beyond that is, I think, helping other people to do that. That's awesome. To feel that. And people have many different ways to do that, you know, through uh, different modes of, you know, civic service. And um, it can look like anything, whether you're uh, in, you know, a custodian at a school, if you're a, a politician, if you're um, a mother at home with three kids somewhere in the United States or somewhere on the, on the planet. Um, everyone has their, you know, shifting roles. Um, I tend to focus on, um, as I said, dramatic arts and helping people with human expression. Uh, I think it's one of the oldest, uh, most ancient forms of um, keeping us in that place, of awesome. being happy. Um, and there's always been song, there's always been um, communication and storytelling in the, in the tribal circles. and. Um, where we're at now in 2016 is um, I'm working in the medium of television and I co-created um, a wonderful television show called Juice Bar with uh, uh, an up-and-coming comedian named uh, Cara Deptula who is with my business partner and what we've done is um, again it's, <laughs> it's it's hard to talk about my work because Again, it depends on the day and right. what, what project, what hat I'm wearing, you know, who I'm talking to. Right. But we'll go with this for now. Um, we've we've started an, uh, a nonprofit called Arts Alliance for Humanity, um, partnering with the Santa Monica Playhouse here in Southern California. To identify projects that we feel will impact the planet, um, to again help people to. Um, to feel good, to feel happy, to be positive, to, to do it right, to do it yeah. right. Um, and this show Juice Bar we discovered is, uh, we wrote about 10 episodes of the show, and it's, um, it's about laughter. It's, wow. It is, it's laughter that, that we were thinking about all the serious documentaries we wanted to do for the planet on race relations and the, 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 the quality of our water in, in countries and genocide and these things are um, all need to be addressed um, gender issues um, um, just taking care of some of the big issues on the planet right now and we realize that maybe one of the best things as it has always been is just a collective experience um, through a powerful medium like television or here in Los Angeles to help people laugh you know our yeah our um, our subject matter juice bar is um, it's set in the <laughs> it's set in a juice bar <laughs> of all places and um, it's we found it's like a wonderful choice for the, the modern watering hole yeah you know exactly there's always needed to be the bar the, the market the, the marketplace something where people come together yes and growing up in Los Angeles as uh, a mixed race kid, my father is Nigerian, West African, my mother is Jewish, uh, Russian, Polish. Uh, they met at Berkeley in, this, in the late 60s, and here I am. <laughs> <laughs> and I grew up here where there's every size and shape and, and, um, and color and, and ability of type of person. Um, and with some of the things that are surprisingly going on in the planet right now, um, 
um, again, there are things, issues of scarcity, issues of uh, resources for people that so that people can eat and have clean water and um, a roof over their heads. But there's some issues that do not do not have to be in existence. Exactly. Um, like people fighting each other because of the color of their skin. Yes. Or their the background of their um, the religion of the people they come from. That is absolute nonsense. Yeah. Um, it's the definition of psychosis. And there needs to be some fundamental healing on on the planet. And our way right now is to um, create the show, which is a multicultural television nice. show. So we can have images of, um, that makes sense to me, that makes sense to Kara and myself, of everyone comes into this juice bar. You know, it's, it's a place that doesn't, doesn't judge you and um the show is all about food it's all about food oh great healthy and food <laughs> healthy healthy food this is another yeah. way we're doing it right yeah. we, we we happen to ha um we wanted to write a show that is in the tradition of a show like cheers yeah where you have the bar taxi where you have the the, the workplace the healthy version the of healthy, cheers. right, right. <laughs> so instead of alcohol people are drinking shots of wheatgrass and yeah. you know exactly. and strange exotic fruits from around the world and we found that there's a lot of comedy about food yeah everybody has to eat yeah <laughs> that's right <laughs> are you gluten-free yeah do you know what a goji berry do you know what a goji berry is are you um are you a vegan are you vegetarian are you lacto ovo are you uh, a meat eater what kind of meat is it grass-fed is it grass-fed beef um yeah all these issues that are serious about yeah, that's health, right. but are actually kind of funny if you think about them that's true i think vegetables are very funny yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Yeah. So